Hey y'all, it's the Southern Woods here. Welcome to the Sweet 16 Round 2 of the Fruit March Madness Tournament. Yes, if you didn't see the play in round, round one, I highly suggest you do. You missed a lot of matches. So, we are going to begin in a second, but let me remind you of what the Cinderella stories are based on seeding, which we discussed last video isn't necessarily the most accurate in terms of popularity. There are some big fruit that are seeded really low since it's based off production in tonnage worldwide. But we have the 28th seed raspberry and the 27th seed blueberries being the lowest seeds on here. The first matchup we're going to get to, again, Sweet 16 is best out of five still. So first to three points is going to be a perfect matchup. The perfect pairing usually. Strawberries and bananas. We have the number one seed bananas against the 16th seed strawberries. Let's roll from the magical bowl. Let's see what gets us started. And that's going to be 14, which we rolled a lot last video. Um, 14 has grow ability. Uh, we already determined last video that strawberries are the easiest fruit to grow. Bananas ranked 13th on that list. So, Strawberry's going to get a point here against Bananas. All right. Next up we have is Category 5. Category 5 is going to be uh, my look preference, actually. Both of these fruit made it onto my uh, uh, fruit pre look preference ranking video, whatever you want to call it. Um, banana as a honorable mention. Um, I didn't want to rank it too much higher than that, uh, or else people might find me a little sus. No, it didn't deserve much higher than 11th place. Anyways, what I'm trying to say is strawberry was like 5th place or something. I think strawberries are definitely a better looking fruit than bananas. So they're going to go up 2-0, threatening to sweep the number one seed banana, the world's most popular fruit. Next up, we have number 9. Number 9 is going to be most popular song with this fruit, uh... In the title, Banana, that's going to be the song Banana by D Billions uh, with 546 million views. Uh, let's see, Strawberry is going to be the song Strawberries and Cigarettes by Troy Sivan with 98 million views. Respectable on YouTube, but uh, Banana has 400 million more. So Banana is going to get a point here. They're not going to get swept. Come on. The one that flew out is category three. That's going to be price per fruit. Usually smaller fruits do better in this category. Strawberries run at 26 cents per strawberry, a quarter and a penny. Banana though, although they're bigger, only 19 cents a banana. So banana, going to tie this up too, too. We have a really good match to start us off in the sweet 16. Next category we got is seven. Category seven is going to be that nutritional grade. Bananas, of course, high source of potassium, and they have a nutrition grade of A. Meanwhile, strawberry, very big with polyphenols, or I think that's how you pronounce it. Yeah, polyphenols. Um, and that is a nutrition grade of A minus. If y'all want to know what polyphenols do, I forgot um, before the video started. So, um, banana actually going to win here because they have a slightly better nutritional grade coming back from the abyss and beating strawberries. So that was a pretty big shocker, I suppose. Really good matchup to start us off. Big strawberry fans are outraged right now. I'm sure banana lovers are happy. So next matchup we have is, uh, I forgot to say strawberries, moving on to the Elite Eight. Banana, fuck! Strawberries, you're out of here. Just to add insult to injury, bananas, you're moving on to the Elite Eight. Next up we have is the ninth seed pineapple against the eighth seed cantaloupe. Both these fruits swept their previous contenders. But first, if you like this series so far and want to see more, join the Southern Woods community and subscribe. And like, apparently. Hit that like button. Smash that like button. It helps me get on the algorithm and helps the channel overall. All right, category 11. Category 11 is going to be uh, that storage life for cantaloupe. About a week and a half for pineapple. Uh, only 
three days if you want a good juicy pineapple it only lasts three days in the fridge on average so that's going to hurt them here cantaloupe goes up one zero all right next up is category 10 category 10 is going to be music references how many times are these in songs pineapple is referenced 180 times the most notably by artists tech nine and ty dollar sign cantaloupe only 45 times, most notably by Eminem and Waka Flocka. So, although those are some big names, uh, Pineapple, a lot more songs. They're going to tie us up 1-1. One, one. Next up we have is 4, Category 4. is going to be my personal preference. Um, out of all the melons, Cantaloupe's probably my least favorite. It When it's good, it's really good, but more often times, especially when you buy it from the store, it's just not. Uh, I love me a good pineapple, so... Pineapple going to go up 2-1 here. All right, next up is category 12. Category 12 is going to be that culinary versatility for cantaloupe. It is 24th out of 30, so on the lower end being a versatile fruit for uh, the culinary industry. Pineapple actually is 6th best, 6th most versatile. So they're going to get another point to beat cantaloupe 3-1. to one. Moving on to the Elite 8. Cantaloupe, you are out of here. All right, next matchup we have is the 28th seed, biggest Cinderella story, Raspberries against the 12th seed, Pears. All right, first up is 14. That grow ability, very important. Uh, for Raspberries, that's going to be, uh, let's see, third easiest fruit to grow. Meanwhile, Pear is... Uh, 11th easiest fruit to grow. So raspberry going to get the nod here going up 1-0 against pears. Next up we got is category 13. That's going to be beverage versatility for the pear 20th uh, place, which on the lower end of that spectrum, you probably guess raspberry a lot better. Uh, 7th most versatile for the beverage uh, community, industry, whatever. So they go up 2-0 threatening to sweep pears. All right, next up we have is category 11. Category 11 is going to be storage life. Raspberries last about a week and a half in the fridge on average. Meanwhile, pears will last two weeks, so half a week more on average. They're not going to get swept. They're down two to one, though. All right, next matchup we have is... Oh, no, one fell instead. Oh, shit. Category two. Category two is going to be uh, the biggest company that produces these fruit uh, for pears. It's going to be USA Pears um, with $148 million revenue. Um, now, I think China may be the top producer of pears, but it's very hard to find any company statistics for that country. Um, that's just a little tidbit in general. China produces a lot of fruit. And they're the top producer globally of a lot of fruit on this uh, list. But again, China is very secretive with their stuff. So um, I went with the, the ones I could find. So anyways, USA pairs $148 million for, uh, what's the other one that we're doing? Raspberries. Uh, well, fuck. That's Driscoll uh, with that $3 billion revenue. Um, so raspberries are going to beat pairs 3 to 1. Moving on to the Elite 8. Pears, you're out of here. All right. Next matchup we have is going to be the 13th seed lemons against the 4th seed grapes. This should be a good one. All right. First category we got is 6. Category 6 is going to be uh, those health benefits. We discussed last video that grapes, they help lower blood pressure, they prevent acne, and they have 14 other... Um, proven or, you know, for the most part, proven health benefits. One of the most in this tournament. Uh, lemons, they they have good stuff. They help with weight loss. They prevent kidney stones, uh, but only seven other uh, health benefits. So half as much as grapes. Grapes going to get a point here, 1-0. All right, next up we have is uh, 14, growability. Once again, let's look at growability ranking for lemon. Seventh easiest fruit to grow. Uh, meanwhile, uh, grapes, 
10th. So uh, top 10, but not enough to beat out Lemon here. Lemon's going to tie it up 1-1. All right, next category we got is category one, which is what they're seed upon, which is that worldwide production in tonnage. So uh, lemons, 13th seed, 17.5 million tons produced every year. Grapes, fourth seed, 80 million tons. Uh, so they're going to get the nod here going up 2-1 against the lemon. Is uh, Category 11 next. Category 11 is going to be uh, storage life. For grapes, about a week and a half in the fridge. For lemons, three weeks. So lemons last a little longer. They're going to tie it up 2-2. We have a good matchup. All right, next up is category two. That's going to be uh, biggest producer for each of these. Uh, for lemons, uh, Limonera, $148.6 million revenue for that company. Uh, for grapes, it is Sun World with a $57 million revenue. So... With that, lemons are going to edge out the grapes here. Grapes are very popular, of course, but they are no longer. They are out of here. Lemon, moving on to the Elite Eight. We're about halfway through the Sweet 16 tournament. Next up, we have the third seed apple against the 19th seed cherries. First category we got is seven. Category seven is going to be uh, that nutritional grade. Apple's great source of fiber. They have an A rating. Uh, meanwhile, uh, cherries, they're a great source of vitamin A with an A rating as well. So we will re-roll here. All right, next up is category five, which is going to be my look preference. Um, cherries. Uh, one with this last video, I'm pretty sure, last round. I do like uh, the way cherries look. They were on my ranking video. If you haven't checked that out, you're missing out, of course. Um, but apples were actually my third best-looking fruit, in my opinion. Yes, they're kind of basic. They're not uh, the prettiest, the most appetizing, or the sexiest-looking fruit. But there's a lot of symbolism in history, religion, and pop culture that I think uh, cherry has a strong standing with those two, um, but I think apples just have a little bit more respect and they're a little bit more iconic and they're going to edge out the cherry going up 1-0. Next category we have is 13. Category 13 is going to be that beverage versatility. For cherry, kind of middle of the pack, 18th place. For apple, 11th place, a little bit better. So apple Going to get another point here, threatening to sweep Cherry in this Sweet 16 matchup. Next up we got is Category 10. Category 10 is going to be the music references. Apples referenced in, Apples are referenced in 4,592 songs. This may be the most on the list, most notably by Raylan and Destiny Child. Uh, Cherry, they're referenced 2,496, a lot as well, most notably by Warren and the Beach Boys, but... Uh, apples are referenced about twice as much. They're going to sweep cherries, actually, which I didn't think they would sweep them. But lo and behold, the apple, strong contender here. Cherries, you're out. Apple moving on to the Elite Eight. All right. The next matchup we have is the 11th seed Peach. I represent the Peach State against the 27th seed Blueberries. But don't let that low seeding fool you, Blueberries. Uh, wrecked house last video, last round. First category is going to be six, which is going to be those health benefits. Uh, blueberries help with lowering cholesterol, lowering blood pressure, as well as five other health benefits. Uh, peaches, uh, they decrease the risk of stroke. They lower cholesterol as well, including 10 other health benefits that I could find. So Peach is going to get a 1-0 lead. All right. Uh, next up we have is, oh, no, one flew instead. And that's going to be category 12. Category 12 is that culinary versatility for peaches, 11th place, uh, just outside the top 10. For blueberries, uh, 16th place, dead in the middle. So peaches actually going to get a lead here, 2-0, threatening to sweep the blueberries. That would be impressive, in my opinion. Next up, we have category 4, my personal preference. Well, damn, blueberries aren't going to get a point here at all because... I don't care for blueberries that much. I enjoy the I enjoy the flavor in general and the artificial flavor too, but when it comes to actually just eating blueberries, 
I don't usually do that. Um, peaches, I love. I love the flavors of peach. I love eating a peach. Um, yeah, I'm going with the peach. I'm the peach state boy. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going with peach. They're moving on to the Elite Eight. Blueberries are out of here. I bet blueberry fans are feeling blue. All right, second to last matchup in this Sweet 16. We have the seventh seed oranges against the 23rd seed limes. Couple of citruses going against each other. I'm sure people were hoping for a lemon-lime uh, matchup. Maybe that will happen because the lemon beat someone else earlier. All right, we have Category 7 to start us off. Category 7 is going to be that nutritional-grade oranges. Boost immune, immune system, uh, help with skin care, as well as 14 other health benefits. Uh, limes, they're good for inflammation. They boost the immune system as well, but only five other health benefits. Orange is going to go up 1-0. All right. Next category we got is uh, two. Category two is going to be that brand size for limes. It's Limonera as well as lemons with $148.6 million revenue. Uh, for oranges, it's Sunkist being the top producer with a $1 billion revenue. So oranges quickly up 2-0 against the limes. All right. Next up we have is category 11, which is going to be storage life for oranges, two and a half weeks. Uh, for limes, I'm pretty sure that is three weeks. So half a week more, limes not going to get swept here. All right, next up, category 14. Again, growability, very huge for the lime. It's ranked eighth place, um, you know, fairly easy to grow. For oranges, it's ranked sixth place. A little bit ahead of limes. We're not going to see a lemon lime matchup because oranges convincingly beat limes three to one. Moving on to the sweet 16 while limes are out of here. Our last sweet 16 matchup this video, we have the 18th seed grapefruit against the second overall seed first appearance in this tournament, watermelon. So first category we're going to draw is 13. Category 13 is going to be beverage versatility uh, for watermelon. That's going to be 12th on the list. Um, you know, pretty respectable score. Meanwhile, for grapefruit, it's 19th. So honestly, the lower end of the spectrum. So watermelon going to get a point here, 1-0. Grapefruit barely beat plums. Will they beat watermelon? We have category 5. Um, category five is going to be look preference here. Um, uh, well, uh, fucking blanked. Grapefruit made it on my top best looking fruit list, um, video, but watermelon, uh, spoiler alert, what, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, number one. I think watermelon's the best looking fruit altogether. Um, exterior, interior, you get a slice of watermelon. It's a gorgeous fruit. Um, so they're going to go up 2-0 against grapefruit. All right, next up we have is category three. Category three is going to be price per fruit. Grapefruit, $1.18. Watermelon, $3.60. It's much larger, so it makes sense. So grapefruit actually going to get a point here, not being swept. But will they hold on? We have uh, one flew on the desk, and that's going to be category 11. Category 11, once again, that storage life for watermelon, a week and a half. Again, why is a grown man like me having voice cracks? Um, what's the other opponent? Grapefruit, um, two and a half weeks, actually. So a whole week more than watermelon. Grapefruit going to tie this up two to two. This would be, a, I think, a huge upset and a huge comeback if Grapefruit can pull this off. And that, oh, well, nope, that's Category 1. Category 1 is what they're seated upon. Grapefruit, 6.9 million tons produced each year. Watermelon, 101 million tons produced each year. So, Watermelon, you almost choked it right there. Uh, but you're going to move on to the Elite Eight. Grapefruit, you are out of here. So, with the... Sweet 16 being done, we'll move on to the Elite Eight next video, all the way to the championship like I usually do. If you're looking for a Cinderella story, may I suggest the 28th seed Raspberry, because they're still alive. Other than that, we do have two other uh, double-digit seeds, being lemons and peaches in the Elite Eight. So, 
Uh, like if you like this video. If you want to see more tournaments like this or outdoor videos, food reviews, definitely hit the subscribe button. Join the Southern Woods community, and I will see y'all in the finale. Southern Woods out.